Hello, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Ascent. And let's see what we can do here. We have 379,000. That's still going to cost us a bunch. Uh, it will give us max parts so we could build bigger and bigger and bigger rockets, but uh, we can't really do that until this is upgraded. So we can only do 36 meters, 39 meters, and weight 140 tons. So we'd have to do both of these almost at the same time. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We could do seven. Position satellite specific moon. Position moon. Well, we can go get us another Kerbal. That's going to save us so much money. We're going to get an advance, an advance. We'll get eight. Upon completion. Uh-oh. Recover Thomulus's... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So this is like an extra thing? Rescue Thomas is Kermit who is stranded in low Kermit orbit. Turn safe to Kermit. No. I'm not sure if we have to do that as well. We're going to wait on that one. Uh, let's go into the VAB. We had a rocket that was. I think it was Rescue One, wasn't it? Rescue Ship. Ah, $9,200. Let's load that. We don't have any kind of grabber on the front to um, to grab it. If it was that, no grabber, no grabber. I don't know. And no way to connect it. So, uh, this barely made it. Did this barely make it? I think it did. <clears throat> we might run. Man, I would like to get. I don't know what the first one said. We have to get the uh, Seapont's uh, stuff back down. Oh man, I tell you what. Let's. Um, <clears throat> what other rockets do we have here? We got Orbiter that took Jebediah up. Oh yeah, and we had quite a bit because we could get him to the... Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, let's take this off. No, let's put that back on. Take that off. Oh. This is just Orbiter 1. We're going to put a... It'll hold two Kerbals. Weighs a ton, though. My goodness. Weighs one ton. Um, let's put this on. Not sure how it comes back down. Let's do two. It weighs a ton, so this thing's going to need another parachute. Because uh, it'll be coming in too fast. <clears throat> Let's do... We could do one parachute and have it automatically roll over, huh? I don't want to I don't want to risk it. We're going to have a lot of people on board. So we'll do two. We'll only open one when, it, when we need to. I guess we could put that on there just because but this that so 
an awful lot of parachutes. We're still under under parts there. That's okay. <clears throat> uh, see, look at that. Hmm. Get this all sagogling, and it won't work. And we just won't open one of the shoots, probably. Or we'll just open those two. Have it come back in. It's got the heat shield. I'm afraid it's going to flip over, though. Let's put a crew in here. <clears throat> Jebediah's already been up in space. Oh, and so has Sipon. Oh, uh, Valentina. Let's go Valentina. Bill and Bob. Let's try to do a. Uh, let's go. Orbiter 1.3, because it can haul three people into space. Save it. <clears throat> we can level people up. We could shoot them to uh, out, get them around orbit of the moon, probably. I'm going to sneeze. Let's go ahead and launch. <laughs> I am going to roll over early and I'm going to relax the throttle a bit when we get um, when we get up there I think that will be really good here's our here's Valentina the pilot engineer and scientist And we're going to lock in our SAS, which I don't know if we have even have it in the SAS. Just in the capsule, maybe. We're going to go ahead and full throttle and launch in three. Oh, wait a minute. We got a delay on the uh, launch pad here. Uh, rendezvous maneuver. Oh, we had we performed a rendezvous maneuver. And we performed a crew transfer. Very good. Rescued Seapont. Yes. Seapont is now part of the program. Yeah. Well done. Seapont permanent has been recovered in one piece and is now enjoying a thorough debriefing from the comfort of her quarantine cell. There we go. Better quarantine. Okay. <clears throat> oh, our battery. Yep. Got to check that. What time is it? Where is the sun? Oh, we're almost on the day-night terminator here. So, here we go in three, two, one. Let's start rolling over now. Using those fins there to help. Really going now. Okay, I'm not going to touch anything while we go through the atmosphere here. Already getting um, pressure on the effects on the uh, upper stage capsule. Three of them going up. I wonder how excited they are. Getting ready for separation here. We're at 17,000 already through the upper atmosphere, getting heating effects. There we go. Go ahead and turn over, and we are going to relax the throttle a bit down to two thirds. Let's check to see where that got us. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's just cut engines. Just a little bit here. Point over. <clears throat> and then we'll start burning. I mean, technically we should wait, but then we just have to.
We have 1,300. So many. Bringing our apoapsis down. <clears throat> oh, this is Seapon ship, so we either need to get rid of it. I don't. I don't remember what to do on that other one. Okay, we're at 115,000. We want to make sure we get to orbit. So <clears throat> two thirds again. Spreading out this um, orbit line here. We should get almost there before it runs out. As long as we keep everything kind of the same here. Just keeping it low, keeping it low. Hello. Not as low as Seapont's ship, though. I don't like screaming around Kerbin that low. <laughs> I like to be up in the hundreds. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, that's that. Let's go ahead and break off this engine. That'll go back to Kerbin. And we have 953. They could do a flyby of the moon. Where is the moon? Oh, yo. I tell ya. I forget how much it takes to get to the moon. Yeah, I just don't think we're going to have enough. 9.53. I don't want to risk it anyway. We'll just do a an orbit of Kerbin and let them level up. I know scientists can do more on... And that's why I would like they can do more on a laboratory. Uh, they get better science production rates uh, when they're in a laboratory. But I would like to get another Kerbal because, you know, he may be an engineer. He may be a scientist, and I need scientists don't always need pilots, but definitely scientists. Waiting till we get to the Apoatpus is, is in a minute. Right now they're on a suborbital flight. Okay, let's get them set up for a cross in the day night terminator. And we will get we will get battery charge from the engine. From the engine. Okay, here we go. Full power on the rocket engine. Okay. They are in orbit. They just leveled up. Well, you can have them level up immediately, but in my playthrough, you have to a little bit more power there. Let's check out their view. Uh, we know what uh, her view is. <coughs> That's the capsule. Very good. Good work, uh, Valentina. Jeb's taught you well. Engineer Bob. Oh, Engineer Bill. There's Bill's view. He's looking at Bob. What do you think? And... Kind of let go of it every time. Uh, view from Bill, I think it was. He's looking at Bob. Two Kerbals never been in space before. Hey! Alright. He's in a yellow jumpsuit as well. Some have yellow jumpsuits, some have white. Uh, our, our guys are normally in orange. So 
there they go. That is the debris. It will fall back to Kerbin. Valentina. Bill. Bob. So we're just leveling them up. We are falling, but we're not going to fall back into the atmosphere just yet. They are going to go around to the... Let's have a scientist do an EVA. Automatic EVA disabled. Activate a hatch. Okay. You can do that. Oh, there's no hatch on here, maybe? Uh, I'm a little confused on that. Let's find the hatch. Maybe she's the only one that can get out. Because there is no hatch. It is just a compartment for Kerbals to sit in, I guess. That is it. So we got two parachutes. This way is over. Oh, just went dark. Okay, turn SAS off, save some battery. Get over here to the other side. And here is Kerbin. We want to try to land on Kerbin, so we're going to um, deorbit right here. Make a deorbit burn. Uh, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing it because it's always good to have that little clock reminder. We'll be over there in 23 minutes, etc., etc. And Kerbin will rotate underneath us. So this is us. 78. We could do some slow burns to get down to 80, but we'll be over here in 22 minutes. And then we'll scoot this just a little bit more. We might land right at, at dusk. Let's go ahead and speed up time. F5 to save. Beefing up our engineer. I think as an engineer, he can he can replace parachutes or fix fix broken wheels. Uh, we need to also go out to Minmus and straighten up our orbit um, of that uh, satellite we put out there. We can get a little bit of low science over Minmus. I think we're at 82 science at the moment. This right here is not giving us anything. I mean, we're just launching. This cost us money, and we didn't get anything out of it. Okay, yeah, we might be coming in at dark. So let's let's not come in at dark. Let's come in at daytime. Um, we'll go ahead and make our burn, and hopefully land in the oceans again and not the mountainside. Let's go ahead and make our burn. Here we go. Valentina, uh, Commander Valentina in charge of uh, positioning the <laughs> and she can't hold it there yet can't hold it slowing down slowing down we don't want to hit the mountains we'll definitely not hit the mountains there but Still in retrograde, we do have a little, you know, some fuel to burn, slow us down. Um, is everything good? We are getting charged. Can we do an EVA? Oh, no, EVA for her, yeah. Over the deserts is all it would say, and we've already got it. 
So let's speed up time until we get down to 70. I'm at 1980, 2,000 meters per second. Okay. okay, we're back in the atmosphere. Music has stopped. I guess we could burn this off. Um, or we could bring it back because we have two parachutes on here. may have to jettison it. I wonder why that doesn't f always fly straight. It's almost like this is heavier than this now. It wants to flop around and come in the atmosphere here. Okay, starting our heating effects. We may just have to jettison it and hope for the best. It's hard for me to hold it here. Hard for me to hold it. through the atmosphere. We're going to hit hard on this other atmosphere. G-forces aren't too bad there. Uh-oh, we were losing it. We're losing it. There we go. Turn SAS off. No, no, no. Get back over there. Get back over there. It's wanting to, it's wanting to fly like a dart. Very hard to hold this SAS. We should be slowing down now. Should be okay. Yeah, this thing wants to fly like a dart. And we better watch out because we left the rocket engine running. <laughs> Let's see, we might pop one shoot early. As soon as we get down. Okay, let's pop one and deploy one shoot here. See if that slows us down any. Pop another one. Pop our third one here. Turn SAS off. Getting ready to. I don't know how. Ooh, that opened really quick. We're going seven meters per second. We'll go ahead and open this other one. Oh, we're going five. Okay, five, five, five. I think this all is really good. I think. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and deploy the the next one. Yeah, coming in at six. There we go. We're gonna deploy the third one, and that has slowed us down to four. Valentina has completed her mission, which was to orbit Kerbin with her Kerbal Knot buddies, I guess, Com compadres. Let's go ahead and speed up time and get down to the splash net. Yeah, it seems like the wind is blowing. <laughs> Beautiful ocean landing. They were able to be picked up during the day. We don't have any lights on here, just the interior. Oh, I should have turned the interior lights on when they were 
Lights on. 4.5. And everybody is safe. Can we do anything? Report? Negative. Nobody can get out. Let's see. Can can she get out? Yes, she can. She just won't be able to get back in. I'm trying to get him out to see if he can repack parachutes, but we can do that some other time. EVA? Already got it. Hmm. Back on board. Crew hatch. I want to EVA. Transfer crew. Transfer Valentina. Select a part. Boom. And the part is full. Yeah, of course. They can't move around in there. So we need to have a hatch on here. It appears. These windows don't count as hatches. Recover vessel. Yeah, gorgeous. I'm trying to get off of transfer crew. Trying to transfer crew off. Okay. And recover. Valentina, Bob, and Bill should be leveled up now. I didn't see how much that cost us either. Because <clears throat> we didn't get any science. Zero science. Oh, science added. Oh, that's how much we have. Um, parts. We got 2,500 back. And the crew, each of them level leveled up one. Uh, it is nighttime at Kerbal Space Center. And we need a little bit of data. We just need a little bit to come into here. Let's see, what was I going to do? I was going to check. Yeah, I forget what I was going to check now. Sun setting of the Kerbal Space Center. Mission control, space plane. Yep. Not sure what I was getting into. I was going to try to get, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to try to get some, a little bit of data, but we'll do that next time. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.